Continuing coverage, the last time anyone saw six-year-old Isabel Sellis was when she went to bed in her midtown home, and that was three years ago. Her father reported her missing the next morning, launching a massive multi-agency search that lasted for weeks. And after thousands of leads, still no sign of little Isabel. Here we are today. I can't even explain the frustration. There's no words for it. Well, tonight, her parents, Sergio and Rebecca Sellis, speak out about the investigation into their daughter's disappearance. Nine in your sides, Valerie Cavazos joins us now with more on her in-depth interview with the Sellises. And this case is still open. Tucson police tell us they are still following any leads that come their way, including those from the family. But Sergio Sellis is clearly not happy with how the investigation is being handled. The Sellis family's world was ripped apart after Sergio reported his daughter missing. He looks back on that day and the Tucson police investigation that ensued this way. The investigators and everyone that's in charge of this investigation, and the higher ups from them, FBI, marshals, everybody remembering that ridiculous circus and it wasn't to find my little girl. The circus he describes were the hundreds in law enforcement who scoured the neighborhood, the city, the county for days. The entire effort, he believes, was just for show. Because if there was a purpose, she should have been found within the first 24 hours. Instead of wasting three days on us. Having us down there for over 12 hours apiece, separating us, doing everything they possibly could to make our lives what that much worse. We just lost our little girl. Stirring his anger even more. Letting suspects go. And not drilling the real people the way they drilled us. One in particular, Rebecca says, a relative she won't reveal to the public, who left town after Isabel vanished, hired a lawyer, and refused to cooperate with police. I feel like he ran. And what's going to keep him from running again? Where you don't know where he is. I, yeah, we know where he is. Both parents angry, frustrated, but that's understandable, says the current lead investigator in the case, Tucson Police Lieutenant Matt Ronstadt. He told me it's natural to lash out at police during the investigative process. They followed every standard investigative procedure, every lead handed to them, and have interviewed everybody who may have information in the case. Stella? Valerie, thank you.